It's bonus time! If you go on to learn other areas of mathematics, you're going to see dot products all over the place. For example, if you take harmonic analysis or Fourier theory, you're going to learn how to think of functions as something like infinite dimensional vectors outfitted with a notion of dot product that you may find familiar. This material is so important in signal processing, medical imaging, and more. But let's say you're having a dream of what might happen in the future. If you learn a little bit of Fourier theory, you'll be seeing the dot product again. What happens is that one thinks of continuous functions as vectors, and the dot product becomes integration, by which we can talk about two functions, f and g being orthogonal. That's going to wind up meaning that the integral of their product is zero. This is something just like a dot product. And the basis vectors that are used in this function space are not like the standard basis vectors we've learned of, but rather sines and cosines, waves of different frequencies. These basis vectors, this dot product, will be so useful when you learn this theory.